In this tutorial, we will check some tricks to do some statistics on weather data. We have done, downloaded different weather data from the weather station located in Hinojosa, inside the Cordoba province. Here we have the date expressed as month, day, year, the Julian date, better called day of the year, rainfall in millimeter, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, average temperature, and values for relative humidity, maximum, minimum relative humidity, and average relative humidity. We have also wind speed, solar radiation, and the calculated ETO. We're going to see how we can calculate monthly averages for the different variables or the total rainfall per month in the case of rainfall. First of all, we will create an additional column that will contain the month. Okay. To calculate the month, we use the instruction in Spanish is MES, which is the same as the instruction month if Excel is in English. This is month of this value. Okay. So this instruction give us for each date of the data we will have in this column the month look at this we start the month of february here so we will have month two now we want to calculate averages or totals for the different months here we will add another column for month and we will write one two three four the 12 months of the year with their given number. Then we want to calculate averages for each of these months. For instance, let's consider what is the average maximum temperature in March for all the period. In this case, we have full data from 2007 to 2015. That, so the, the, there is in total seven years. So to calculate averages only for the month of January, we write or we use in English would be average if, but in Spanish would be sumar si. And this Instruction tells that if the month comma is equal to the value in this cell, which is the month of January, comma, we should calculate the average corresponding to the column with the maximum temperature. We close. Uh, sorry, I have used the uh, the sumar. Well, it should be the average in Spanish is promedio. Okay. Then we copy the contents of this cell to the other months. So these are the average maximum temperatures for the twelve months of the year. The same would be done for minimum temperature. We go and write equal. We have said that we use promedio C. The column of the month is equal to the value of each of the months. We calculate the average of 
the column with a minimum temperature. Now we copy the contents of this cell for the other months. So we would use this for the different variables that we have in this table. What happens for the rainfall? For the rainfall, we want to get the average of the total monthly rainfall. So what we're going to do is to sum, in this case is sumar C, the column taking the month is comma equal to each month, then we have to sum values in the rainfall column. Now we copy the contents, but look here, this has totaled the rainfall for all the January and all the years in this uh, data set. The data set starts in 2007 and ends in 2015. Therefore, we have nine years of data. Therefore, what we need now is to convert this data to the average by dividing the total by nine years. Now we copy Okay, so this column was total rain and this is the mean rain per month which is the value that we wanted to get. We can also check on the annual or yearly totals by marking the 12 months and we can see that the sum of rainfall is 450 millimeter in the year.